hundreds of prisoners have escaped from the medium federal correctional center in Kaba, Kaba Boni local government area of Kogi State. It was gathered that the government in their tents attacked the person, the prison center, which is on the Kaba Lokoja Highway, on Sunday night through Monday morning, killing the military men keeping guard on the road before attacking the center. The government thereafter launched attack on the prison officers before making ways to set all the prisoners free. However, about 100 of the inmates have been rearrested, while unspecified number voluntarily returned. What is it all about a jailbreak, prison break, and setting them free? At the end of the day, those who have returned back now, you can imagine the military men guarding or on that road, their lives have gone in for that. That is um, a lawless country. That is every, it is not a rampant thing. You know, it has become a normal thing. When this whole thing was happening in the south and people were just like how can and even when it was happening in the south that was not the first time it's been happening it's been happening all over the country even in the north it's happening everywhere it's happening you know a lot of people outside this country especially other countries would just be surprised how can this kind of a thing be happening like this how are these people living why is it that their lives is just like that and the leaders are not seeing it as anything they don't see it as anything because it's like crime has become the order of the day in this country. When people hear it, oh, they just move on. Oh, what's the big deal? Uh -huh. It's not as if maybe a lot of people are not concerned or they are not bothered. But those who are saddled with the responsibility when they are not doing the right thing. So what do you expect the people to do? When it comes to uh, a situation where, whereby the so-called politicians have failed, the so-called leaders are failed, they will not be calling on everybody. Hey, let us join us together. And I'm always asking... Join us together to do what? You said you are going to do this job. It's just like a somebody getting a job for you. Maybe somebody is opportune to get a job for you. And the person gets the job for you. So you do expect the person to come and do the job for you. Because the person is not going to be collecting your salary. You are going to do the work. Then you will be paid. The person knows is that he has already, uh, maybe if he has opportunity or have that connection to have given you or introduced you to somebody who is going to give you the job. And the person will move on. That is the case between Nigerians and the so-called politicians. You want the people to vote for you after you said you are qualified for that job. Giving you that job, you now you are now failing and you are receiving salary. And their salaries are not are never skipped. Unlike uh, the way they treat the workers. They will tell you, start telling you, let us let us all work together. We have to work together. We have to make sure this country wants it, wants it. It is not uh, only the government. Really, but in their omega salaries and allowances, they are getting here and there. Who shares them with them? Nobody. Because they are failed. They are not even ashamed. When we, this kind of a thing, you know, all this kind of a thing, they will tell you it has been happening. It did not just start now. We know it did not just start now. Then why must it continue under your nose, under your watch? Why, why must it continue? These are the things that we have been hearing from time immemorial. And we are still hearing it. So does that mean uh, uh, we are progressing or we are retrogressing? Are we making, are we, are we developing? Are we, experiencing any form of development with this kind of news, with this kind of happenings here and there. The other time we talked about the explosion that uh, uh, rocks in one of the northern states. Uh, some people are saying, yeah, it is not a, it is not, it is not terrorist attack. Then what it is, Sanka got divided and it fell and that, that was how it caught fire. Is it supposed to happen? No. It's not supposed to happen. Now, these army officers now, their lives have gone in for that. The security people are just, they are just vulnerable now. They are vulnerable. Those ones, they went to, they went for work. Their families are waiting for them at home to come back and see what has happened. Then tell us, what is the rationale behind it? This, in Kugi State again. When things do not happen to some people, they believe that, uh, oh, maybe those who are experiencing such, whether it is destined, you know, destined for, for such thing, they are destined to, to experience that, which is not supposed to be at all. Every life matters. Every life matters. In as much your own life matters, so also other people's lives matter. Other people's lives matter. About 100 of the inmates now, they have 
be rearrested while on specified number voluntarily returned. If they could be rearrested, I am sure they ought to have been able to prevent this from from happening. They would have prevented it. And some of them voluntarily returned. Of course, those who were, who, who returned voluntarily, they, they were not part of the whole thing. Those who went to set the old people free just did that, that. If you want to go, fine. If you don't want to go, but they have targets of those who they wanted to release. You can imagine such a, a thing. Yeah. Killing the military men. Keeping guard on the road before attacking the center. Just like I said, some of the people now who went for work now thinking that they will go back but see what they have gathered. But now this kind of waiting, why is it that they will not gather intelligence reports? Because I'm always... I'm always surprised. It's only in in South East that you just get yes, we get a, we got information that a, so 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 and so they wanted to attack the for, police formations, but they did not get information about those who went to attack a, who went to um attack the prison and break the prison. No intelligence reports whatsoever, and they are telling us that a, they are working. The country, you know, balance, you know, balance at all, at all, at all, at all, and that is it. Those who have gone back now, what would they do to them? Those who are, those who they have arrested, what would they do to them? That is the question we are asking. That is it.